as a federal employee, should you use your annual leave before you retire or should you take a lump sum payment that they'll pay you for your unused annual leave at retirement? Which one actually makes sense? Which one do you get the most money and most bang for your buck for all of your benefits? That's what we're gonna dive into today. And if you're new here, so good to have you. My name is Dallin Hawes. I'm a financial planner who serves federal employees and federal retirees just like you every single day, and I absolutely love it. So today's topic is based on many, many questions I get every day, and there are so many that have questions about annual leave. But this question specifically is talking through, hey, I know that, hey, if I don't use any annual leave, they're gonna cut me a check. They're gonna send me money as if I had worked that time at retirement. So for example, let's say you retired December 31st of this coming year. If you have 200 hours of annual leave on the books at that time, they're gonna cut you a check as if you had worked those 200 hours, okay? Now, the scenario, the question that they have is, hey, should I just go ahead and do that? Or would it be smarter to actually use my annual leave to extend my career. So instead of, let's say, leaving December 31st and just taking a lump sum payment, should I use those 200 hours to extend my career 200 hours longer, right? So however many days, weeks that adds up to, that would extend their career. And during that time, they'd get paid because they're on annual leave, right? They're on annual leave during that time. And they're not just paid, but that your pension is based on how many years of service you have. So the more time you have and on annual leave that counts as credible service, then it's going to increase your pension your pension potentially as well, depending on how much annual leave you actually have. So it would, you'd be paid during that time because you're using your annual leave. Number two, your pension would increase potentially depending on how much you have. Your pension could be bigger by the time you actually run out of annual leave and finally retire your pension could be potentially bigger because you'll have more credible service. And number three, number three is during that time that you're on annual leave, you will continue to accrue more leave just like you would if you are working, right? So there are three reasons where it's like, wow, that, that's t- that makes a ton of sense. Maybe I should just end up using it to extend my career. And, and honestly, yeah, if you just look at the numbers, it's almost a no-brainer where it everything leans towards just using it, using it to extend your career and not getting a huge lump sum. Now, let, let's talk about realities, okay? So at the end of the day, if you wanna do that, go ahead, knock yourself out. That works wonderful for a lot of people. A lot of people do use your, your the annual leave just to extend their career, it works wonderfully. However, some people, they don't want to have to, let's say, come back for their last day. Some agencies require you to come back for the last day. Um, and so maybe you don't want to have to deal with that. Maybe you say, look, I'm just going to work, work, work. And then once I'm done, I'm done. I don't want to have to worry about coming back or dealing with anything else. I just want to retire and have a clean break. And, and that and that is certainly something to consider. So those are the things to consider. Okay, I've got some other videos if you want to learn more about um, comparing annual leave or sick leave at retirement. Um, how those work together, what you should be doing there. I'm I'm not going to focus on on those topics today. All the the conversation about is um, today is basically, hey, should you just take a lump sum for your annual leave and not use it or use it to extend your career? And again, financially, there's tons of good reasons to just use it to extend your career. Because again, as a recap, during that time, you're going to accrue more leave. Your pension is potentially going to get bigger depending on how much you have, how much years of service you already have, okay? Um, And of course, you do get paid during that time because you're on annual leave. So food for thought. Again, every situation is different and you're going to have to just make a decision that just feels right and makes sense for you based on you doing your own research and making sure all the, the important things in your life are checked and that it makes sense for your situation. So I hope that's helpful. If you have any questions that you want to submit and I want us to answer in the future, there's a link below to submit those. I hope that's helpful. Have an incredible rest of your day. I'll see you guys next time.